Hey, welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C31 license, also known as the Construction Zone Traffic Control Contractor license. So a Construction Zone Traffic Control Contractor prepares or removes lane closures, flagging, or traffic diversions utilizing portable devices such as cones, delineators, barricades, sign stands, flashing beacons, flashing arrow trailers, and changeable message signs on roadways including but not limited to public streets, highways, or any public conveyance. And that definition straight from the CSLB website and that's the Contractor State License Board. So essentially the C31 license is a requirement for anybody that's looking to charge over $500 for traffic control contractor services. So if your bid's over $500 in labor and materials, then you've got to have a C31 uh, license. Now, how long does it take to get the C31 license? We're looking at a process of about 90 days. Now, time of year, whether or not you have a criminal history, and whether or not your application is put up for further review, these are all factors that can add to that 90 days or make it less than 90 days. But generally, you're looking at about a six to eight week application processing time, and then maybe another three to four weeks before you go and take the test. Now again, I've seen situations where it's a lot less than 90 days. I've seen situations where it takes a lot longer than 90 days. This is just kind of a, a, an estimate, but generally that's kind of what you're looking at. Now what are the basic requirements for a contractor license? You've gotta be at least 18 years of age, You've got to have a valid driver's license or USAID. You've got to have a social security or ITIN number. And you can't currently be on probation or parole. So the experience requirements for the C31 license are that you have at least four years full-time journey level experience that has to be within the last 10 years. You've got to have somebody who can sign off on your experience. You've got to be able to document your experience if the CSLB asks you to send documentation. And who can sign off on your experience? So the person that you choose to sign off on your experience can either be a general engineering contractor or a general contractor. They could be a C31 license holder. They could be a foreman or supervisor. They could be a fellow journeyman or employee from your company. Or they could be a business associate. So whoever you choose to sign off and verify your experience on your C31 license application is going to need to provide a brief but detailed description of your knowledge and skill set. And the way this description is written is going to be critical to whether or not your application is accepted. So for example, you know, Ed set up some cones and directed traffic for us while we fixed an underground pipe. That's not going to get accepted by the CSLB because it's just not descriptive enough. What they're going to want to see is something more like Ed has verified permits for traffic control projects. He knows proper procedures for flagging. He owns and maintains all personal protective equipment and has designed traffic control plans. So your qualifying individual just needs to get in a little bit more detail about what it is that you do and what you know how to do. So criminal history. You know, Everybody is going to have to do live scan fingerprinting. If you have a criminal record, you can absolutely get a contractor licensed, but the key is just to be 100% honest on your application. So, you know, even if it got expunged, even if it happened years ago, and even if you don't think it was that serious, just be 100% honest because anything is going to come up when you do your fingerprinting. But typically, the CSLB is more looking for fraud forgery and embezzlement charges. Those are big red flags for the CSLB. So if your charges don't fall under those categories, you should be okay. But again, be ready to submit any court documents that the CSLB asks you to submit. So what's on the C31 license exam? It's going to be two parts. There's going to be 115 questions on contractor law. There'll be another 115 questions on traffic control. You'll have three hours to complete each portion. It's a multiple choice test, and the test is done on site on a computer. And you can bring a translator if you need to. So what's on the C31 license portion of the test? So 16% of the test is going to be planning and estimation. 4% of the test is going to be permits and notifications. 
56% of the test is going to cover traffic control installation. And 24% of the test is going to be covering safety. So this is just a snapshot of the C31 license exam. For a full view, I suggest you check out our website. And we have a complete guide to the C31 license test. So after you pass the exam, you're going to get your results immediately right there on the spot. It's done on a computer, so you'll know right then whether you pass or fail. Retakes, you can usually take the test again if you fail within about three weeks. And once you pass, you pay a license activation fee, and then you provide what's called a contractor bond number. And then typically you get your contractor license in the mail in about two to three weeks after that. Now, what are the costs associated with the C31 license? You've got to pay a state application fee. You've got to pay a license activation fee and then a renewal fee every two years. You've got to pay for fingerprinting. And then you've got to have what's called a contractor bond, which has a separate fee. Now, I've got a video that you'll see at the end of this video that's going to show you all the up-to-date state fees associated with contractor licenses and then there's also another video that's going to cover contractor bonds it's a little too much to cover in this video but you'll get the updated uh, fees and then you'll also see um, a video on contractor bonds so i just suggest you check that out at the end of this video but in conclusion you know getting your c31 construction zone traffic control contractor license is a very smooth process you just got to make sure you have all the correct information Make sure you have everything that the CSLB could potentially ask you for on your application. Obviously, you want to make sure you pass the test the first time, but you really want to make sure your application is filled out correctly. So, you know, as long as you have those three main key points uh, addressed, you should be fine and you should pass your contractor license test. But for any additional information, you can check out some of our other videos. You know, if you found this video really helpful, you can click the like button, subscribe to our channel. Um, again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.